Hey guys, Seiko45 here with the second episode of Quest 2, 3 Star Attacker, or is this the first one? Second, th third one. No, this isn't the first one, I know that. I forget if this is the, uh, second, or I think this is the second episode, but yeah, Ness had another bad war, unfortunately. Ten attacks not used, this guy wasn't cleaned, I don't know what happened. So I had a, what I'm gonna call a bittersweet war, where at first, um, I had a bittersweet war, so I had a shit beginning, but an awesome ending. So this is my first attack here. Uh, this failed because I spread my golems too much. My heroes got killed, and I could not get a single air defense of the CC down. So let's just watch. I spread my golems too far. Golems got killed. Drop my queen. Everything procedure's good. Boom. A queen dies instantly. King goes then. Bam. Iron Fist. Shit done, and I just end. Maybe I should have tried, but that was a really bad attack, and that just sucked. And But this attack, I redeemed myself with a logo by back end wounds. This is probably one of the best casual three stars you could ever learn. This attack is great. If you're not a three star specialist, and you're not facing dragon flower bases or anti three star bases, which are usually dragon flower, I've never seen any other type of base other than a dragon flower that is anti three. That you will find bases like this pretty frequently. This, all four air defenses in the core, is a bad idea. Do not ever do it. If your clanmate tells you this, link them to my video and say, do not do this. Especially Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8, Town Hall 7, eh. You could get hit maybe with dragons. Well, you're going to get three star anyway. Town Hall 7, you're going to try your best to do your, judge your air defenses right, but it's very hard. Town Hall 7, you're just going to get three starred by drags. And yeah, so this attack is, this. these loons are a boost to the go-wipe. A lot of times, I could definitely three-star this base with go-wipe, just because it's weak. But with a back-end loon attack, it is a good thing to learn, and it's very powerful. These loons do a lot of damage. So as you can see, I'm carrying off a normal go-wipe attack. I got my wizards, CC wizards, I got a P.E.K.K.A. coming in. Everything is seeming to go well. Got my P.E.K.K.A. and heroes in heal spell, just to make sure they can get through the clan castle troops. And now, this is the problem with this base. Go Wipe can smash cores. They, a core, Go Wipe in a core is lethal. It will crush your base. Your enemy will not stand a chance. Go Wipe is just too strong. It will smash through the core. That's something Go Wipe is built to do. It will get to the core very easily, and it can smack it. But that's about as far as you can get. You can smack through the core, but once you're trying to get out, that's the problem, and these outside defenses... Come and kill your P.E.K.K.A. and Wizards and Golems. They're already weakened from the core and the outside defenses. And you get around 60-70%. Sometimes 80 on a good attack. And sometimes barely even 50%. But this, these loons add... It's worth taking out a few Wizards and a few P.E.K.K.A. To get enough troops to get to t kill the core. And have... Many people are so good at back end loons. That they don't even... Their troops don't even die. They drop them so perfectly timed that they, they account for their travel time. So let's say you're about to let's say it takes this loon, the two loons right here is dropping two loons. Let's say I don't think I drop them right here. Let's say um I, I know I drop loons right here I think. So let's say it takes loons three seconds to travel to this archer tower. Let's say it takes that amount of time. What the heck are you doing, Oreo? But what I'm saying is three seconds of travel time. If you some people are so good that they know that and they can time. They could time their, uh, so let's say that uh, the P.E.K.K.A.s are about three seconds from taking out that air defense. They could drop them right there, so when the P air defense goes down, the loons are right at the defense. Very good, but if you're doing a beginner to this attack and you want to be cautious to wait for all the air defenses to go down, make sure you save a few wizards and archers for cleanup, just because this attack sometimes might be low on time and you need the, all the cleanup troops you get. So save a few wizards from your normal go wipe, and bring a few archers, like six or seven archers, and you should be fine. And the loons will help when clean up as well. So the strength of back end loons, as I said, you do not need any. Uh, you don't need spells for them. Back end hogs are great, but they you need spells for back end hogs. For back end loons, no, there's no spells needed. So there we go, dropping the back end loons, getting hit hard by those traps, but they're so powerful. These max loons. There you go, sending them in. And as you can see, they are just really strong. They damage an archer tower. They at these level of defenses, they can one, one to two hit them. 
you know, with two looms, you just go boom, boom, and most of, even at high level, like max tunnel nine defenses, it just goes boom, boom, and the defense is down most of the time. So in, these loons are, they're just insane, really powerful. And as you can see, the loons are going to walk through this base. My queen's still alive. My king is barely alive. There's a few P.E.K.K.A. It was well-timed. And as you can see, this these troops survived the core. They took out the outside defenses. And this attack turned from a 2-star, probably a 60, maybe 70 percent if this was a hard base, into a 3-star overkill with the fact that you could take out... Yes, guys, you could do this in your own wars. If you find a base with four air defenses in the center very closely together... Bring a logo white. Bring around 8, 10 Mac loons in your backup. You could do this at Town Hall 8. You could do it at Town Hall 10. Uh, two loons per defense. Pick, like, don't drop them on cannons, because that's a retarded, right? You want to drop them on the archer towers, because cannons so powerful with back end loons, because you took out the air defenses, and the only threat to them on the outside is wizard towers, Teslas if they're on the outside, or archer towers. That's about it. So most of the time, it's going to be wizard towers and archer towers. Teslas will usually be in the core. And then you got arch towers and wizard towers. And loons can do it. Trust me. Don't underestimate them. They can do it. Very powerful. So I will make a guide on this attack so you guys can learn it. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal raid to learn. I hope you guys go and try this to yourself. This is probably one of the best three-star attacks that you can do on trophy player bases. Yes, at higher levels, you could do a Govalo, you could do Colo, which I recommend you learn if you do. I'd rather do those if you know them. But if you are not in the mood to plan a crazy ass holo and you just it's too complicated, this is the alt. Alright, guys, see ya. Bye bye. Oh, uh, that's an alarm. See you very soon. Peace out.